This week, Chef Jess Thomas, who has a recipe for a sushi baked casserole. If you've gone out for sushi and had a California roll, you're gonna love this recipe. It's adapted from Bon Appetit magazine. Hey y'all, it's Jess. We know that sushi comes from Japan, but as it's gotten more and more familiar in America, it's come across in so many different interpretations. And one of my favorite is hot sushi. Well, going to a restaurant can get expensive, so I'm gonna show you a way you can make sushi at home in a casserole dish. Let's get started on sushi bake casserole. In a bowl, I'm gonna mix chopped green onions, imitation crab, sriracha, capers, and some Japanese mayonnaise called kewpie. I have my cooked sushi rice mixed with some rice wine vinegar and some toasted sesame oil. After patting that down, I have my crab meat mixture that I'm pouring all over the top and spreading evenly. Then I sprinkle with furikake, which is a rice seasoning made with seaweed. Even though I already put some kewpie in the crab meat mixture, I'm actually gonna drizzle some more on the top. One, because it's delicious, and two, it just looks really pretty. I was hesitant to try out this recipe when I first saw it, but since I made it, I can't stop. And for a little more kick, I'm also gonna drizzle on some more sriracha. One of the great things about sushi is how beautifully it's presented. Well, this deconstructed version is still gonna be pretty. We're at 350 for about 20 minutes. And look at that, when you take it out of the oven, it's a nice golden brown. It's beautiful on its own. So the way we eat it is similar to a taco. We have our nori or seaweed and we want to get the smaller squares and then we put some cucumber and some of our hot sushi bake right on it. Put out some fresh sliced avocado or masago, roe. It's delicious. Just roll it up like a taco and enjoy. You should really try this because it is an amazing recipe. I hope you try this recipe. It feeds a crowd, it's delicious, and it's really economical. You can find more recipes and tips on Instagram at Jess Soul Food. Thanks so much for watching.